Hello everybody and welcome to the Aussie Outback. Now this is going to be a brand new series on the multiplayer server. I've listened to everybody's complaints about why you don't like the multiplayer videos and I have basically narrowed it down to, essentially, viewers not liking it because there is no continuation. It is just a one-off episode and then you don't see the progress which has been made in another episode. There's no sense of achievement. So, that's all we're going to change. This is going to be a proper series, multiple episodes per week. I don't know exactly how many, but it's going to be multiple episodes on top of the series which I'm already running. Uh, so this is on top of my normal videos. It'll be at least two videos a day um, on a day when this is done. Unless, for whatever strange reason, I am super busy and can't do anything else. Because multiplayer videos are easier to record. There isn't a great deal of planning, but I can still make it have uh, a sense of achievement and progress without too much planning. Because there's already things going on on the server. So yeah, you might recognise this map, and I'm not going to say straight away which map this is, because otherwise it's just going to be an instant giveaway, obviously. But um, yeah, just have a think about it. You can post it down below if you want to, but I'm going to say in a minute or two what this map actually is. It's a remake of a certain map, so... Have a quick look around. But even so, it's got all of the characteristics of a of the Australian Outback, I believe. Not being myself, but uh, well, certainly from looking at photographs and from other Australian Outback maps, it looks good. It looks like it is what it should look like. Um, so yeah, what I'm doing here is obviously casting a load of grain. To be more precise, 119,600 litres of wheat, which is quite a lot. That is quite a lot of wheat, and this is super heavy. So I'm off to the sell point, which is just over here. Uh, well, hopefully it's just over here, if I've chosen the correct one. So yeah, I'm driving on the left-hand side of the road, like the UK. I feel right at home here. Um, yeah, one of the fewer places where you do drive on the left. There are actually quite a lot of countries which do drive on the left, but some are, I think, quite small. And Well, it's actually a list on Wikipedia, I've noticed, but uh, yeah, I can't remember a great deal. I think Japan, Japan is one. I'm off to the harbour anyway to dump all of this grain, and it should bring in quite a bit of money. Now, despite it being called the harbour, this, like I said already, is based on another map. So there is no harbour. Um, yes. Now is probably a good time to say what this map is. If you haven't guessed already, it is Estancia Lapacho, which has been heavily modded, um, but it looks very good. I, I think it looks incredible. I like it a lot. I think the bridge has been removed too. Yeah, the bridge is gone. So, yeah, hopefully that hasn't ruined it for you, now knowing that it is Estancia Lapacho. But it isn't. It's not Estancia Lapacho. That is just the foundation of it. It's, uh, it's much more than that. Even though Estancia Lapacho is a good map, I, I probably said that wrong actually. Estancia Lapacho is a good map, the reason why you might not be quite so keen on it now is because um, I overdid it. I overdid Estancia Lapacho. I had the server running on there for a very long time. But no, it's a good, it's definitely a good map. But it was time for a change. So, yep, the harbour, or the so-called harbour is just over here. I am intrigued to see what it is now, I'm not too sure. Uh, where's the way, is that the way in? I think that was the way in. I, I've I've overshot and I don't actually know how to get in. Here we are. So, yeah, this is going to be quite a bit of money. We are starting off with around £80,000. However, we did have £15 million. It cost £15 million to buy the fields. Um, but, yeah, we own every field. Also, coming on to the topic of these trailers, I think they're absolutely fantastic. My issue is I have absolutely no idea where they've come from. I found them on a screenshot and I managed to track them down but I can't find any information about the modder but they are really well done. So the credits are below but as for an official website for the modder or a Facebook page unfortunately I have no idea if one exists. If it does I'm, I'll be very happy to link it but yeah it's a case of finding it first. Yeah because there's so many decent mods and they just get distributed around the internet without permission and re-uploaded to a different link and then you just you, you completely lose track of whose mod it actually was in the first place which is why I think a lot of modders do get fed up because their mods just get spread about without permission but yes uh, these these are clearly very very good trailers and absolutely perfect for this map anyway back to the field 
where everybody is waiting for me. Uh, I think they have been waiting for some time, so yeah, this is this is going to go down badly. That was typical. Can you believe it? It has the entire map to go around, and as soon as I get to the crossing, it's down. Although that was pretty fast. That was good. Floor it. So if you're interested in seeing what the map actually looks like from above on the minimap, it is now just, uh, I think, about three or four fields, possibly five. Very, very large fields. We're currently working in the biggest, which is field number one. Uh, it's essentially most of the map put together, um, which you're about to see. I think this is my turning. It's quite narrow, though. Uh, I reckon I can fit through here. I hope. Yep. Second trailer came through. Perfect. Here is the yard, it's a very good yard. We might be getting some deer at some point, some John Deere, but at the moment I'm not too sure. John Deere tractors that is, obviously we have some harvesters. And here are the two auger wagons, chaser bins, waiting for my arrival because yeah, everyone has been filled in this time. I have taken forever to go and unload, I'm very slow. Um, yeah, so hopefully, providing I don't crash into anybody, should be able to do two at the same time here. That's very impressive. And the combine is unloading into that. Look at that. This is a good opportunity for a screenshot. It's very impressive. Quickly, set the field of view. That is amazing. Nice. <laughs> I love it. Um, this is what multiplayer is all about. Really, really good. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to turn it off again. That was the drone flying, by the way, not myself. Because this is, of course, going to be slightly realistic, because it is going to be a series. But I'm already 90,000 litres in capacity. Good grief, out of 120,000. I might be heading off straight away. <laughs> this, is, this has turned into a very short stay. I was here originally for a very long time. Wow. I am pretty much full. There is space for about 2,000 more litres. There's not really any point in staying unless there is another combine, which there is. I've got to unload that one. Oh, hang on, no, I'm full. I am now full. Right, okay. Well, it was fun seeing you all. Toodaloo. I will check the price. Uh, was it really that high before? Harbour. Transport company is very close to the same price. Transport company is it is closer, but not by a great deal. And actually, by road, it isn't closer. Let's go via the plane. It's a it's a good plane. Let's go and have a look. That used to be a swimming pool, where the original house was, but of course not anymore. I actually prefer this. I prefer this over Estancia de Pacho. Estancia de Pacho is just the perfect foundation for the map. This has perfected it. Uh, I need to go left. Yeah, it's good to have a road train. Always goes down well. Hopefully I can make this turn. It's pretty good. Yeah, love it. Super good map. It came out at the end of November on Mod Hoster. I wonder if this still says a stand the patch on the sign. It does. <laughs> um, yeah. Some kind of distribution yard or something down there. A load of bales and stuff. Looks really good. And I'm not going to keep saying it, but I, I, really, I genuinely do like it. If I didn't like a map, I wouldn't play it. Here we are. Load number two. Absolutely raking in the money. Oh, I want to see how heavy we are. If I can stop in time. And if this is a waybridge. What is this? Uh... Have I just driven onto something which I shouldn't have done? Nope, it is. It's, uh... Hang on, no, wait, that can't be right. 14 tons, no way. Ah, I've overshot. Um, that's tricky. I don't know. <laughs> it's weighing something. Uh, forget it. Let's just sell. I also noticed this is sugar beet which is unloading from here. So there must be several different crops you can take to the same place. 
like a right number one. The price is looking good. Very good. So from the first trailer, which is tipping right up, we get some well-deserved money. 72,000. I think the, the money, the price has just rocketed all of a sudden. And that is difficult accelerating from here. A lot of weight on the back there. Plus I have potentially mounted the side. Anyway, yeah, here we go. Number two. If you want to join the server, all the links are down below. So, yeah, it's definitely worth having a game on here. It is for PC only though, unfortunately. No console. And it's in Continental Europe. Official Dagoin game server. And the password is Tractor. Now, let's go and get the next load. Ah, we have something blocking the farm entrance just here. Ah, that's good. There's somebody in it. That's alright. In fact, I probably should go the same way, but I don't think I'm going to make the turn if I turn left. Actually, I might. Possibly. I would love the next DLC to be set in Australia. Um, well, actually, I think when I say DLC, I actually mean Platinum Edition or Gold Edition, whatever it's going to be this time around. Because they don't seem to add maps in just a normal DLC. It tends just to be in a special edition, which will normally be in November of the following year. So, November of this year. Obviously, that's not confirmed. But Australia would be an area which is obviously different, because it hasn't been covered before ever, as far as I'm aware. Um, well, it hasn't. I've been following the series ever since the start. Uh, so, Australia would just be a really, really good place. Because they've covered South America, uh, obviously North America, Europe, well, certain parts of Europe. The UK hasn't been touched on, but I prefer, I think I would prefer modders UK maps anyway. But Australia, just, I wouldn't say ignored, because there's still mod maps out there, but it doesn't really get focused on at all. So I think that Australia would be a really good place to do the next special edition. Now there are chaser bins on the go, but I can see that there is a combine waiting just here, which is full, with no chaser bin, so I might as well just unload, and then I can park over at the side again. This is Farmer Tom. There is a cultivator. That's Destiny TV. The server's filling up. It was quite quiet earlier. Oh, somebody's just left. Jack has left. Okay, all done here. Time to move on. I'll go back to the start. How big is the tank? Anyway, this is showing the sheer scale of the field. It's huge. It's all the fields put together. It's impressive. But, yeah, it's actually, I, I think, from what I can tell, quite small compared to some fields which are found in Australia. It's just, I would say, an average side field. So, where shall I park? My normal parking space has been cultivated. How frustrating. I think I'll stop here. We have a customer. Color-coded. Kind of. We've got the green and the yellowy-orange over there. That's a good full load. That's going to totally fill my first trailer. All in one place. I probably should have moved forward. But at least I could do a quick jump cut, and you could see how much it had filled up. Yep, that's the first trailer totally full. So let's get that cover over. I think it does go through a little bit. Uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. And now we have the second trailer, which is still being filled up. The suggestion has been put in to have a third trailer, which I actually agree with. Uh, it does struggle to pull it, but I think... With the land being so flat, I might be able to get away with it. So, if I just go and get another tractor to set it up, I can bring it over here. Because that at least leaves this in the field for everybody to use. So, yeah, I'm just going to... Well, actually, is there anything? Nope. No tractors available. So, if I buy a small yard shunter, such as... Well, nothing too expensive. It's a good tractor. 
Uh, what should we put on it for tyres? I might actually put the jewels on the back because it might be used as a fertiliser spreader or something like that. So, yeah. It's there for the future. Wow, I don't think I'll attach it to the seed hawk. Although that would be quite amusing to see. <laughs> now that I've done it. Someone just bought that, haven't they? A while ago. Uh, yeah, now that that is here, I actually can pull it. Nice. Plenty of power. Uh, so before the money gets eaten up, let me just go and buy this trailer. It's going to mean having another dolly. This one here. Really, really good trailer. I wish I knew who the modder was. Um, yeah, that should be good. If I do find out who the modder is, I'll put the link down below. And also the credits. So, yep, let's just get this attached. And taken over to the field. You can do it by attaching all the trailers first and reversing back, but it's very difficult to reverse. Right, so somebody has moved the John Deere, which is very good. That has really improved things. I can now attach this and take it over to the field. This is... I have no idea. Somebody. Whenever I have the hide HUD mode on, it removes the name of the player. Average Joe. Right, so this is obviously going to be built on this farm, and I think we're going to have some horses too. I've had suggestions to do some horse racing, which I might do in a future multiplayer video. Um, so basically, just stay tuned. This is going to be a series. Because to date, uh, none of my multiplayer FS19 videos have really been a series as such. There's been no continuation. And look at the extended yard. It's really expanded. That is standard as well. I have not placed those. Unless some other admin did, but I don't think they did. Right, so there's my truck. If I get this aligned as much as I can do, to the best of my ability, then I should be able to just back up and attach. Hopefully I can do. There we go, do a bit of shuffling. Do a bit of a jig. Nice, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can just reverse back. I might also do some live streams on here, but I'm not going to say that for sure. Because, uh, well, live streams are usually a bit hectic, and there's no realism at all. This is going to be fun. And possibly impossible. It's attached through a bit of persuasion with air. Uh, and yes, we have another customer just here. Hello. Feel free to use my road train service. Should it say on the front of here, it should say Dagwin's Road Train. And we should have a slogan on the side saying, It might get there. Ah, the wheel is up on this one. I need to put that down, otherwise, it's going to mess with the stability with the amount of weight we have. So, if I just cycle through all of the different things that we have attached to the truck, I can't quite see from here, but. If I press X and run back here really fast, we might just about see it. No. No, it won't do it because we've got automatic engine start enabled, so I have to be in the cab. But you should now see that it is down. I might be in the way here. There we go. Looking good. My apologies, I didn't want to get in the way, but I have done. Uh... I'm usually causing chaos. I'm still in the way. I'm always in the way. That would do. And just as I thought I'd move, there is another one coming. So I'm going to have to move again. But first, this needs to unload. Whoever this is. It is unloaded. Alright, I'm looking for the next... Oh, it's there. It's right behind me. Okay, I'm going to move again. I, I'm just making a habit of blocking challenges. I have to go about a mile just to get out of the way. 
Well, 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 what do we have here? A crop circle? The crop circle that disappears when you get to it. Must be something that was done in Giant Editor, I assume. Anyway, uh, yep, yeah, the next one is over there. So clearly, uh, today's job is to harvest this massive field. That one's actually quite big too. But um, yes, it's going to be the highlight, I would say, of the series, working in this field, harvesting it. I would hate to think what it would do to your PC if you bailed it. <laughs> it would probably, but it would kill the multiplayer server, but it would probably even cause lagging a single player game. It's like a racetrack, you can see where everybody is. We've got Olus9 over here, Andy K, Hoppo's Karting, uh, Farmer Tom is over here, Destiny TV, and Average Joe. Essentially the entire server. Oh no, we've got Nathan TMF down there. But otherwise, yeah, that's everybody. And nearly everybody is a farm manager. I would say my final customer is on the way, as you can see. Oh no, our money's disappearing. Somebody has clearly bought something worth a few pennies. Where's it going? What is it seed? Or fertilizer? Or lime? Lime. It must be lime. Uh, you've put us into negative figures, whoever you are. Minus £24. Luckily, we have plenty of money in this truck, in the trailers. Uh, £28,000 on some lime. And somehow we have half a million. That means somebody has put a loan in. Ah, yes. Yes, we have a loan. Here we are. We have the last load. I think that is going to totally fill my third trailer. We will see. But yeah, the capacity of those things is huge. And now I can't see a thing. Not a bad screenshot, that. But yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's probably a bit too zoomed in. Let's jump up here. Climb over the trailers. And you can see our final load. Actually, there might be a bit of space. But we do have another chaser bin to unload. And I'm going to be some time unloading. Almost there. A few bits in the bottom. It's all fit. So yeah, we do have space to take some of the green chaser bin. But not much. And that has filled it. 179,400 litres of wheat. In fact, just before we do finish, let's just see what the acceleration is like. How much wheel slip do we get? Let me put my foot flat to the floor. There we go. That's actually really good. Even on a cultivated field. To the sell point. The transport company is currently the best price, so I'll take it over here. It does have to be picked up by a train, which is there. But that's fine. Because that would give another player something to do. Uh, right, so yeah, first one. Hopefully there's space ahead, uh, above I should say, to unload. Sixty thousand for that one. Sixty thousand for that one. And let me guess, sixty thousand for this one too. Problem is I can't get round the corner. I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm stuck. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to head back to the field and take this to everybody. But yeah, until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.